Welcome back, everybody. Another week of Taurus Talk here at the SG Taurus Company. I'm your host, Matt LePan. We're here in our beautiful new Marlboro, Massachusetts branch, 164 Lock Drive. First time on location here, and I'm on location with the management of this new branch, branch manager Chris Bergeron and assistant branch manager Andre Allen. Guys, thanks for coming on. Thanks for having us. Thank you. Thank you. Glad Glad Thank you. Both of you guys have been with the company for a little while here. You both come from different branches into this one. Chris, can you start and tell us how long you've been with the SG Taurus Company, kind of how your path to branch manager sure. here in Marlboro came about? Yeah, so I started off in Peabody. I was a truck driver there for about five years. They mainly did truck driving, learned how to do the counter. I actually learned how to do the shop a little bit there. You know, Brian Pomeroy was there. He taught me basically everything right from the beginning. From there, I worked over in the Portsmouth location. I was the assistant manager there for a little over a year, I believe. Uh, worked with Woody there, showed me a lot. From there, I went to Inside Sales there for about three years. You know, learned a lot from Donnie, Jay, Mike over there. Learned a lot about product knowledge. From there, we opened up the new location in Boston. Manager there for about three and a half years. Ran that great location. And then when they decided to open up a place over here, I jumped to it, moved out this way, and glad to be here. It's a great place. Yeah, so you've clearly been well-traveled within the company, so you know kind of the ins and outs of all the day-to-day stuff that would go on. Oh, yeah, yeah. So, I mean, I even took, like, a tour and, you know, I was the manager in Providence for a little bit. From the ground up, I've worked most positions throughout the company. You know, when I first started, I didn't know furnace from a water heater. I didn't know anything about HVAC. So, starting off as a driver, making my way up through to manager, learned a lot along the way. And Andre, you haven't been here quite as long as Chris, not as many stops, but can you tell folks where you've been for those who don't know you? I've been with SG Tours for a little over two years now. Started in Wilmington, the main branch. Started as just a second shift warehouse guy. And then from there, I went to the assistant manager for the second shift, to the manager of the second shift, all probably within probably a year or so, year and a half. And then I went to the front counter, where I was there for probably a little over a year. And then... I threw my name in the hat for a couple of the positions that I didn't get, but they told me, you know, Marlboro might be coming down the pipe work. So, you know, I kept my ear on the ground, and the moment they opened up the position, I threw my name in the hat and decided to move on down here. There's obviously some growing pains to opening a brand new branch. Can you guys talk about what this process has been like and how it's differed from, obviously this is much different from what your day-to-day was before. Can you talk about how it's been different and really what you've seen this branch come from? You know, you, Chris, you said you took the tour when they were looking at this place. Talk about from when you came in, it was a big empty warehouse to what we have now with the beautiful showroom, yeah. our offices being built, the offices that you guys already have, and then obviously the warehouse fully stocked. Lucky for me, this is my second time opening a branch, so I got to uh, go through opening a branch the hard way the first time in Boston. Coming down here, you know, it's, it's interesting because, you know, the building was all offices. See all the demo work that they did here to get the building the way it is to where it is now. It's been a pleasure to see how much it grew into this building, which is beautiful right now. So it definitely has its challenges. You have setting up inventory levels. You you know, you know don't know what your customer base is gonna be quite like yet. You don't know what they're gonna want, so you kinda have to get stuff in, and you have to be ready to change. You have to be ready to, when a customer, you got a new customer who wants a certain product that you didn't start off with, how you're gonna adjust, so that way you're well stocked and you have everything that the customer wants. Andre, this is really your first foray into the management side of things. How has it been growing into this role? You know, like I said, we ha- you guys haven't been here long, but is this kind of what you expected or has it been a little different than what you expected? And what can we expect out of what you guys are doing here at this branch? It's, uh, it's kind of what I expected a little bit. I was told that the, the mother branch of Wilmington would be much busier than a smaller branch, which, I mean, kind of makes sense, but I think it definitely definitely is a good learning opportunity for me, you know, in terms of the management side, the actual technical part of HVAC. And I mean, I was much like Chris when he first came in. I don't really know a lot, but I think I make up for it. And excellent work ethic and just determination. You're selling yourself short, you know enough. <laughs> you know enough. I, I know enough. I know enough of the daily operations. Not to get yourself in trouble. Essentially, yeah. But I'm always, always trying, always willing to learn more. There's always more to learn. Say at the branch level, you you get to do a lot more than what you do at the mother branch. Work in the counter, you kind of get to deal with the counter, and you get it's repetitive. You get to do it over and over again, and you learn that part inside and out. Here at this level, you know, you get to learn how to how to deal with a customer who has a furnace and you need a part and stuff like that. You can't. There's no other departments to kind of shift them off to, so it's all kind of universal. So learning how to take that on, how to be a little bit more well-rounded, is definitely a challenge. But I think it's a challenge we both embrace, and we like to be able to help out a customer and give them all those answers. 
So you guys are here, 164 Lock Drive, right off of 495, right yep. off of Route 20. Great location. You obviously have a good work ethic together, as, as we can tell from the podcast here. What can customers who are going to come here, whether they be existing customers of ours that are getting a branch a little closer to their location, or a new customer that might be listening that can come in, either set up an account or just buy, you know, if they need to buy filters or parts or anything, what can they expect out of this branch in particular that's going to be different from where they might shop now? Well, I think because we're new, we can definitely be, one of the best things is we can kind of mold ourselves to what that customer needs. So if there's something that we don't stock off the bat, that's something that we can mold ourselves and have for them, if they're, especially if they're a local customer and we're going to be doing business down the line, we're going to, we can set it up so that we have everything that they want and try to become that one-stop shop for them. Also, because we're new, we're not as busy as other branches, so we can kind of go a little over the top of the service. You need something run out right away, I mean, we can probably get it done a lot faster than other branches that are maybe too busy. If you're going to a competitor who just has a lot going on, you know, we can jump right away and get get that taken. Yeah, I, I think Chris is definitely right about the whole molding thing, and just in terms of our work ethic down here, I mean, we just, I think we really demonstrate that whatever it takes attitude and just the determination to get really anything done for our customer within reason, of course. I mean, if, if we don't have it, we know where to require it, and we'll get it for you as soon as possible. I think that's definitely a good quality coming down here. You guys mentioned the whole group. It's not just the two of you. You have a couple of great guys that work here. You guys have your truck driver and Rob Roach and the warehouse worker and counter guy, Severino Barbosa, both really talented guys, both new to our company, both with great work ethic. Do you think that the four of you as a team have already sort of come together and, and have an identity as a branch? Yeah, I believe so. I mean, we've gotten along great. They definitely fit the SG Tours core values for sure. Rob has been doing truck driving forever <laughs> you know right. and, he's, and he's worked for the other companies as far as in the HVAC side so he loves what we bring to the table and he loves working here so he and he knows how to how to take care of a customer and how to represent a company on the road and you know Severino's holding a management position in other companies and he knows how to help a customer I mean I think the bottom line is the four of us know how to take care of a customer and get them what they want and what they want quickly. And absolutely, I mean, we've seen it in working with you guys to get everything set up. You've said it a couple times now, and it goes from you two down to those two as well. Customer service is really front and center here at the Marlboro Branch. Again, 164 Lock Drive, Marlboro Mass. Make sure you guys are Write it down. coming out and checking, checking out the new branch and, and ask for Chris and Andre. They'll take care of you, and, and same with Rob and Severino. With the change in the company kind of coming out into this area where we haven't really been before, do you guys see an opportunity to really open new customers' eyes to what we can do? And how do you think that you're going to handle that? How do you guys think you're going to be able to handle that as kind of the faces of the branch? A hundred percent, a hundred percent. I think for the customers that we've had coming in here, a lot of the feedback we've been getting, a lot of the things they've been saying is that they're surprised to hear about a Taurus in this location, really. And I mean, I think a lot of them are very excited because they hear they don't have to drive, you know, to Boston or to Mansfield. And, you know, once you tell someone they don't have to go into the city, they'll pretty much go wherever they got to go. They don't have to get on the Piker on 93. Exactly, exactly. Where um, probably a simple three to four minute drive from 495, where really the accessibility for our branch, I think, is pretty, pretty solid. Yeah, I mean, they they nailed the location, and you know, the closest branch that they had here, you know, was Franklin, and when they they moved down to Mansfield, it did leave a little bit of a gap here. So we definitely have a good amount of customers that were here that traveled a bit to get the Ashy Taurus because they loved the service, but they were willing to suck up the mileage for it. But and now they find out that we're this close. You know? Yeah, I mean, to be in the Metro West and the Worcester area, it's just yeah. it's we're here for folks in that area that. Maybe been missing us for since we moved to Mansfield about a year ago. Yeah, um, and I think Worcester, you know, a place like Worcester, this whole area, yeah, there's there's a lot of customers who would, ah, would have loved to go to Taurus, but, you know, just too far. But, you know, now hopefully that solves the problem and they can come in and get a taste of it and never have to leave. Yeah, well, we're here, again, 164 Lock Drive. We're here serving you folks in the Worcester area, in the Metro West area. Even if you just do work down here, stop in. You can still have your home branch be Wilmington. If you're doing work down here, stop in. See Chris, see Andre, see Rob, see Severino. Check out the new branch. It's it's a beautiful location. You guys are doing a great job. We uh, we really appreciate all the hard work you've put in behind the scenes to get the branch to where it is. We know it's it's not easy opening up a branch, but we couldn't think of two better people to have do it. Oh, thank you. Oh, no, thank you, sir. It's been, thank you. It's been fun. It's a, it's it's definitely a learning experience and something we're happy to do.
So one last time, 164 Lock Drive. I think this is my fifth time saying it. We'll take one, it. 164 Lock Drive, Marlboro, Massachusetts, right off of 495, right off of Route 20. You can't get a better location than that if you're in the Metro West area. We want to thank Chris and Andre for coming on. We want to thank these guys for opening up this great new branch. We want to thank you all out there for listening. And anyone who stops in, thank you for tuning in. Thank you for coming to the branch. Let these guys know that you've heard the podcast. They can, they can take care of you here at the branch. And we look forward to seeing you. I want to thank you all for tuning in. Make sure to subscribe to the podcast on iTunes and on Spotify. Just search Taurus Talk and you'll be able to find us there. And make sure you're checking us out on social media, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, LinkedIn. Use the hashtag Taurus Talk. We're hearing you. We, we know what you guys want to hear and we're trying to bring those podcasts to you. Or you can go on our website, listen to it anytime, sgtaurus.com slash podcast. I want to thank you again. We'll see you next time on Taurus Talk.